wet. So for the wet on wet technique, I am moistening the area inside of the feather. You can see the water there. Now when I apply color, the color is going to disperse only in the area of the paper that is wet. The paint colors will bleed together, but again, they should only stay in the area that I have placed the water. So when you get started, paint on your water carefully, almost as if it had color in it. I'm using analogous colors that I think will mix well together. In this case, I'm using orange and yellow and some brown. You can see how I can pull and blend the colors together using my water brush. And if you were doing this with a normal pan paint set and a paintbrush, you would just do this with your paintbrush. With my mermaid markers, when I press them, there's an area that says press on the marker, an extra drop of ink comes out. So when I want more saturated color, I will press that press spot so that more ink comes out and then I can move that around as I wish. I can also tip my paper and kind of bend it and lift it so that I can help the paint and the pigment move to the areas I want them to go to. Having paper towels handy is always helpful. You can blot up color or use your paper towel to lighten color or add texture if you wish.